Right, today's video is going to show you how to install a resin bound on a footpath, steps and patio. Stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe, enjoy. Dotty, I've got a shot <laughs> <laughs> So we're quickly beating up this uh, riser here. We're doing it in place because as you can see, it's a quite a long one. It's very tricky, you've got a sharp angle down, point down there as well. We put some reinforced clips on as well, just to reinforce it. So what we've done is um, we've glued and activated all the joins. And then as you see now, we're spraying them these on with activator because we want to get them done today. Then we'll do the bead on the bottom as well, and then we can infill it. We'll just light on top of there because it's so big to move. Don't want to move it too far away. But as you can see, how neat it is in this sharp corner. Just the details. All about the details, isn't it, Dan? Ooh, ooh. Easy part of the best. <laughs> <laughs> CT1 white, often copy, never bettered. I'll put it right next to each other. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> oh, it's <that's> fucking <laughs> Here's the foreman. Start the foreman. Yeah, here it is. Rachel's been to the gym, she can't uh, walk now. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even taken my legs off. Hello. Have you even been to the gym? Do you... Right, I'm not having it all day. His attitude stinks today, Rachel. Right? Right, honestly. He's been drinking all day yesterday, oh, Yeah, look at him. Oh, he's driving a nice night. How old are you? He's got a nice little something to do there, so I feel like he's taking time off. He's Sunday. Now, little haircut, how are you, Daniel? Honestly. Oh, <laughs> 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 yes, good boy. Yeah, so I said to Dan, like, he needs to just he needs to get a bit more in here. Yeah, he wasn't doing it right, was yeah. he? <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of finish you're looking for at the end now, aren't you? That's it, Dan, listen to this. <laughs> Take your lessons. Got a technique, though. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Right, so I'm going to do this properly. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. Isn't it? Why is that not Rice Krispie and Caramel? Well, that's what it looks like. I'm not being funny, I'm good at this. Oh. That's your own Oh, I'm really excited. 
Nah, the world's smart. You've got five minutes per minute. Yeah, it will look really good, won't it? Yeah. Right, so we are working in partnership with Ace Resin and we are going to create this amazing outdoor area for part-time working mummy. It's an Italian marble resin that we're going to use with glitter because she wants an extra bling bling. So we're giving her that nice bling. So what we're doing at the minute, we're at the stage now where we've just granite dusted this whole area. We're just using a straight edge to make sure we're straight on all angles. So we've got a nice flat area to work with. And then what we're doing then, as you see here, we have just glued our risers, which we've done yesterday. Okay, so we glued them in yesterday. Always do them the day before or a couple of days before. And then what we've got to do now is glue some beads across the front edges. And that gives us a nice seamless finish from tier. So we've got a bottom tier here, be a nice seamless finish up to the resin. And then from here again, nice seamless finish right through. We're doing the resin on all the steps. So as you can see around here, excuse all the camera equipment. It's recording day today. So we've got one down there already we've done. We've got to do them up here. But as you can see, I'm at the top here. What we've done is la laid them on some moisture resistant backer board, laid them down flat, and then we installed it in place to give us the time to go off. And once it's gone off, we pick them up, glue them to the risers, as we'll show you in a minute. But as you can see, this whole area, if you just scan around, it's a 95, it's a, I think it's about 95 square meters we've got. So this top area is being completed. We've just got to whack this area here. And we've got a mesh and go system to go down, which will show you basically the mesh and go system just goes on top of the grano dust, which allows us to then install the resin bound on. So don't forget to like and subscribe, stay tuned. Any comments down below, any questions, let us know. We'll get back to you personally. Yes, personally, I would do it. Stay tuned. Right, so the features and benefits of using the mesh and go system is you have 200 kilonewtons of strength with using this system, okay? You also have the benefits of not having to tarmac, concrete the area beforehand, where previously we would have to concrete and tarmac the areas before we could do any of the resin work, which is saving a lot of money. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is after we've done this project here, I'm gonna give you a, a before and after cost rough idea between block paving and resin bound to, say, to show you, sorry, the benefits of using this system and the cost as well. So you're saving a lot more money. The reasons why we're pushing this more, because you're, you're getting a seamless finish, as you can see, plus you're saving a lot more money. With this mesh and go as well, they allow a degree of flexibility, so movement within the sub base. So it's gonna reduce the potential outcome of cracking. So if you have any overhangs anywhere, or you have two different materials on the sub base meeting up, it's reducing that factor of potential shrinkage or cracking. That's why this is a great thing to use here. So as you can see, we've just overlapped it here. You have a five inch to six inch overlap, which you can butt up everywhere. We've just laid ours across over just to make sure. And that is pretty much it. So here's the finished product, a perimeter footpath going all the way around, just one blend. So it's the Italian marble Isio with glitter inside it. As you can see, we've granite dusted this whole area. We've done it all yesterday. We've just got to put the mesh and go down on here now, similar to down that side. So that's the mesh and go system. All we do is lay that on top of this granite dust. So with this here, We've done all the type one hardcore, compacted that. Then we've put the granite dust on top, compacted that again, and the mesh and go system goes down. And then as you can see what we've done yesterday, the resin goes on top of the mesh and go system, and then you get left with 
this nice seamless finish. So as you see, we'll come up here quickly now. You see these rises up to the footpath here. Gives it a nice seamless finish then. So it just blends all the way through. So we're gonna finish off the steps today, the two tier patios today, and then we are job done. So with this uh, footpath here, on top of the resin bound, once Dan, Dan's troweled it, so you've got Josh as the mixer, um, I loot it so it's flat, ready for Dan, virtually ready to go, and then Dan's the man that's trying it all, and then I come in after he's troweled it, chuck the glass across, so it's all this crushed glass, and that's what gives it the anti-slip properties, and then we are left with this nice, amazing finish. Hi, today we are doing a resin bound installation. There's a new signing. It's Josh on the mixer. <laughs> so as you can see, we've got everything prepped up, ready to go. We've got, Josh has put all the bags of aggregate sand on top, and then he has also got all the two part resin are ready to go. So he knows each row he's gonna do for one mix, and that's it. And repeat, repeat the process. So all he's doing now is mixing up part A and part B resin. He has to do that for one minute. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name's Jeff. <laughs> this is the new uh, back stretcher. <laughs> Warm up, ready, ready to go. Right, so as you can see now, the boys are just prepping. So what we do is you put each stack of mixture in order. So then whoever's doing the mixing, so for our example, Josh is doing all the mixing for us. He knows he can just pick up that one row and he can crack on. He knows that's one, one mix. So it's all about preparation. If you get it prepped right, it's nice and easy. So they're putting all the sand on top of the bags now. And we're just waiting for the two part resin to arrive because it didn't arrive yesterday, shock. Um, once that arrives, well, then we'll do the part A, which is the big top, and then the part B, and we'll stack them in as well, so then Josh knows, nice and easy, which will watch, mix for what. Another thing is wrapping your wheelbarrow, because the resin will stain it. So when the delivery comes, all we do is take off the top, the plastic wrapping that comes with the delivery on the pallet, and we put that inside of the uh, wheelbarrow. We put one of the bags inside as well, just to sink it in, so it's roughly in place and then we duct tape around just to hold it in place. So when it comes to preparation, again, we have two stopwatches, magnetic, so they attach to the mixer. So you've got one that's set at a minute for the mixing of the two-part resin, and then the other one is for three minutes, so when the mixture's actually going around, once the resin's poured in, and then again, the one that's set for a minute will do for, again for another minute, so then when he pours the sand in, at the very end, it's mixing for a one minute. So you've got a one, three, and one mixture. And then, as you can see on top, we have the four bags of aggregate, that's the mixture, with the sand on top ready to go. And then in our case, we have a little shovel. So when the wheelbarrow is in place underneath the hopper, use a little shovel just to push it around the wheelbarrow, just to make sure it's flat. So you haven't got a massive lump inside of it, just make it easier. And then the other tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need white spirit. So we have a little bucket of white spirit. Sometimes a blowtorch is handy. So if you've got any residue that's gone off, we use a blowtorch to heat it up and then we can scrape it all off nice and easy. We have two loots, but I only need one because this is just me doing it. We have the depth on the loot set to 18 millimeters. So when I drag it back, it's perfect 18 millimeters everywhere. And then WD-40. So when we start the mixture beforehand, we turn on the mixer, we spray WD-40 around just to ensure the residue of the resin doesn't stick to the sides of the mixer. And it makes the cleaning of the mixer a lot easier. So what we do now, as you can see, the resin goes straight down on top of the mesh and go system. And then all I'm doing now is using my gauge loot, which is basically like a rake, set at a certain depth of 18 millimeters for this, because it's on top of the mesh and go. And all I do is just drag it back and forth, making the trowler's job a lot easier. Then he can just jump straight down and crack on.
So here it is, the finished product. As you can see, how lovely it looks. Got a nice seamless finish all the way down through. So each step with the risers going up through, giving that a nice seamless finish all the way through. So we have about 50 litres of water in this bucket here. So I'm going to show you the permeability of the resin bath. As you can see, it's all dispersing through the ground now. Roughly 90 litres per second per metre squared. And there you go, 